Now I'm going to go through some examples to help you figure out how to calculate average atomic mass. So you're going to take the mass of the first isotope times its percent abundance, however you have to write the percent as a decimal, which means you need to move it twice to the left, plus the mass of the next isotope times its percent abundance, written as a decimal, plus the next isotope's mass times its percent abund abundance, and so on. Let's go through a couple examples. Here we have sulfur. We want to know what the average atomic mass of sulfur is. Now, the trickiest part of these problems is figuring out what numbers go with which. So you can't just start pulling numbers. You do need to read the sentence. What is the atomic mass of sulfur if 9503 of its atoms have a mass of 31? So as you can see, it's talking about this percentage with this mass. So read very carefully. I've made them in red and green and blue just to help match them up. You could do something like circle, underline, square if that helps, or you can use colors, or just read, whatever's useful to you. Okay, so let's go through how to do one of these calculations. First thing we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to change my pens to match you. So we're going to take the first percentage and write it as a decimal. I'm moving it twice. So that's going to be, it's right here, 1, 2, times 31.972. Plus the next isotope, its percent written as a decimal, times the mass, plus the third isotope, with its percentage written as a decimal, And now we're going to perform the math calculation for this piece. Okay. Now, it is very important that you put it into your calculator as I'm going to show you. And that is because I want to make sure all of our answers are taken the same way when we put them in Schoology for a test or a quiz. So you're going to do it, you're going to type it into your calculator exactly as you see it here. So I'm going to start with a parentheses, 0.9503 times 31.972, close my parentheses, plus Open another set of parentheses, 0 0.007745 times 32.971. Close my parentheses, plus 0 0.04248 times 33.647. Close my parentheses, hit equals, and I get 32.067 for my answer. So we're going to look to round our answers to at the second decimal place. So here's the first, here's the second. So I'm looking at the six and that seven tells me to round it up because seven rounds the six up. So 320667. So the answer was somewhere like 32.06767. I'm looking here, second place past the decimal. And so it's gonna be 32.07 AMU. Now, Let's look at the periodic table and see if that's if we got it right on. 3207. So if it's an element off the periodic table, you're trying to get this number. Remember, this is the atomic number, number of protons, tells us who the atom is. This is the average atomic mass. This is not the mass number. The mass number would be, this would be sulfur 32, because this is really close to 32. This would be sulfur 33, because this is really close to 33. And this would be sulfur 34. So that's how we take those averages, those values, the mass numbers, and come up with the weighted average. Okay, on this example, there are three isotopes of iodine, but we need to consider just a little bit of a different kind of way of approaching your problem. If you have 100 of something, then 5 out of 100 is 5%. So I want you to think about what a percent means, right? 5% is 5 out of 100. Okay, so as we read this problem, there are three isotopes of iodine. And again, remember... The part that makes these a little tricky, if there's anything tricky about them, is that you've got to kind of read and see what's grouped with what. So iodine-127 has a mass of 126, 
and so on. So as I read through these three masses, I notice that 127 goes with this, 126 goes with this mass, and 128, 99, 128 goes with this mass. So I'm going to use the color, uh, change the ink to help me think through this. So I know that this is 127. I'll make that my red. And if you don't have colors, you can underline, double, triple underline, circle, square, underline, something like that, right? So I have 126, I knew that was 127, and as I read the percentages, because it says an average sample 100 iodine atoms, 80 of them are 127. Well, we knew 127's mass was this. So the 80 is gonna be that percentage, 80 out of 100. Um, I read 126 has a mass of this. And then I'm looking for the how many are them of them are 126. Looks like 17 of them are 126. And then I also see there's an iodine 128, and it has a mass of, and there's not always three. I know these last few examples have had three. There could be more, there could be two, there could be two plus, all the way up to, I've seen some have 10 or 15 different isotopes. Okay, so 17 we know comes from 126. And then we know three comes from 128, so I'm gonna make this blue. All right, and now we're gonna set the problem up, remembering that we need to write anything that is a percent, and remember 80 out of 100 would be 80% as a decimal. All right, so let me get my pen working on my pad. Start with red, and I'm going to make my line a little thinner so maybe it's a little cleaner writing. We've got the percent, which is going to be 0 0.80 times 127.06 plus 0.80. the next isotope, which is um, 0, oop, wrong color. Let me fix colors here. Sorry, guys. Don't mean to confuse you. Mm, let's get green. Okay. Uh, so then it's going to be 0 0.17. Remember, two places because it's 17 out of 100. So that's 17% is going to be 125.984. And now we're on to blue. And then I see 0 0.0. 03, 3%, 3 out of 100 times, so I moved it three times to the left. Oops, not three times to the left, twice to the left. Remember, we always move our decimal twice to the left for a percent. 127.895. And now let's punch that on the calculator. Let's go through that again, keeping in mind that. We need to put the parentheses in. Okay, so we're gonna do parentheses 0 0.80 times 127.06, close parentheses plus open parentheses, 0.17 times 125.984, close parentheses plus open parentheses, 0 0.03 times 127.8. 895. Hopefully my fat fingers have not hit anything strange. Hit equals and I get 126.90213. All right, so then I can write that down and we're going to round it to two places past the decimal. Pardon me, let me change my turn my pen right side up. 126.90 Two one three. The color of the ink has nothing to do with anything. It was just the ink color that was left over. Okay, so I said we're going to write our answers and round them to the second place past the decimal. First place, second place. This two says leave it alone, 126.90. And we're going to compare it to the periodic table and see how close we got. It should be right on, give or take a little bit, if just because of the way some numbers are put in and we are correct. Okay. There are other examples I can go over if you're struggling. Please do not, re do not hesitate to reach out if you need more help. I just want to remind you guys that you must put your numbers in your calculators like I've described here. You must use the set of parentheses. 
because Schoology will not be able to catch those mistakes, nor will I go back in and hand score quizzes and assignments. So please make sure that you're putting in the set of parentheses and you're rounding properly to two places past the decimal.